So, let me take you on a journey. Yeah, we're talking the slow approach. You know the one. When you're kissing all over like you're drawing a map but with no GPS directions. And let me tell you, I felt like I was a tourist lost in a foreign land. Prolonging the teasing? More like prolonging my confusion. Before we get into this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Because let's be honest, if you're going to make someone wait, might as well do it properly. So, there I am, starting from the belly button, right? Because apparently it's sexy or something. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, why am I making pit stops at random body parts? What's next? A quick detour to the elbow. And the worst part, you gotta act like you're doing it on purpose. Like it's all part of some master plan. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. It's a bit like being in the middle of a slow motion car chase. You're inching closer, and she's looking at you like, uh, any day now, buddy. And I'm just over here, licking around like I'm painting a mural or something. Real smooth, right? And then there's that moment, you get a little closer, like, dangerously close to the target area. And suddenly it's like, am I going too fast? Too slow? Should I make a pit stop at the thighs again? Play it safe. It's like when you're in traffic and you see the exit sign, but then you decide, eh, let's take the scenic route. I swear, I was waiting for her to pull out a stopwatch and be like, all right, you got five seconds to make contact or we're canceling this trip. And finally, finally, I make it to the clitoris, but by this point, it's been so long that I half expect her to be like, oh, we're done here. Thanks for visiting. Come again soon. So yeah, folks, if you want to master the slow approach, just make sure your partner doesn't get so bored they start reading a book during the process. Thanks for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, or I'll just keep taking the scenic route in my next video.